parade day. So everywhere is pretty much like a ghost town right now because everyone went to Philadelphia. I live in the Philadelphia area, so I literally like nixed the area all together early this morning. And there was like so many people like um, already walking like first thing in the morning at like 6 a.m. I think I left the house. Insane. So I have class today, so I want to make sure I got um, on campus on time. Um, but yeah, so today's the Eagles Parade, and I'm one of the few people um, who are actually going on with my day, like as usual. Um, mostly because I have class, this is my senior year. A lot of my courses today are going over reviews, and to me, maintaining my 4.0 is extremely important, as nerdy as that may sound. Plus, I'm a mom. My kids still have school. Like, my youngest had a school trip this morning. Um, Alessandra wasn't necessarily feeling well yesterday, but today she's feeling a lot better. Um, so my sister agreed to watch her for me, which made me very, very happy. Um, that way I wouldn't miss classes because today is Thursday. So it's my long day, which means I start class at 11 and then I'm in class from 11 until 4.45. So it's a really long day for me. And just thinking about missing all of that material from like three four classes and then having to make that up it's not like I miss a day and I don't have to make up you know that reading or you know try and obtain those notes you know I still have things I need to do and complete so there will be no parade for me today um, but good thing about the parade what I was saying earlier is that it's so dead today like I got to park in the parking lot directly under the communications building um, which is rare like that never happens for me especially on a Thursday um, even though my class is actually um, across the street um, I still went ahead and parked in this building because the rest of my classes for the day is in this building so I wanted to make sure that I got a parking spot <clears throat> and I was hoping that a lot of people didn't attend class today like they said they weren't and they didn't like look how dead like there's never this much parking like no one is here no one um, there's some cars on this end but yeah for the most part no one is even here today which made me happy because I got an amazing party spot so I do have to walk a little bit to my class um, since it's across the street like not directly across the street um, it's a good, a good little walk but I don't mind doing it like throughout this pregnancy I've been refusing to take the stairs when I go um, to my classes so I've been literally walking like six seven sometimes eight flights of stairs um sometimes having to go down those same flight of steps just to move my car because it's free two hour parking so every two hours i have to like go back down those stairs and, like move my and like walk to like move my car it's not like i go down the stairs and boom my car is there like i have to walk like outside um so even though i have not been able to go to the gym as much as i would have loved to um and i miss going to the gym with my fiance um i'm just thankful that my legs are not like sore or swollen or anything and that for the most part I've been able to uh, just take the stairs which is good so yeah so I've been doing that yeah so I have class I don't get until 4 45 um, so I have Ariella staying in school for the day but we'll see how all of that goes as well but yeah let me start walking to class because it's almost 10 30 so um, before I got out the car, I wanted to um, grab my stuff out and I'm like, crap, my coffee. And it just made me kind of like think about like the whole coffee thing, like with being pregnant. So over the past week or so, I've been drinking so much coffee, like not even a ton, just like a coffee a day or every other day, which is definitely not good. Um, but I've been making sure I drink tons of like water or like juices and things throughout the rest of the day. Um, I've also been making a lot of like fruit smoothies like banana smoothies because I'm not really a big banana eater um so I want to make sure that my potassium and everything is great you know things like that so trying to still have healthy habits but um about five days now I've been trying to avoid caffeine and yesterday I had the worst caffeine headache and I was telling my fiance like I thought maybe I might have a sinus headache or something like I don't know because the kids have been sick but like I like came to the conclusion like it's probably just because I haven't had coffee in like the past few days and I'm just like going through withdrawals or something um, but I've been trying to do really good without consuming caffeine because I can't really eat a lot of sweets 
because it makes me super nauseous like I've only been craving like salty savory things um so for me like coffee is like like my treat like it's not super sweet um I usually go for like a diced dark roast so it it's always like a nice little like treat to have and plus I'm always busy always exhausted so it just really kind of helps me make it through the day I'm just gonna get some coffee so I just brewed some coffee this morning I don't know why my eyebrow looks like there's like a gap and there isn't like it Blah, blah, blah. whatever um I was like I'll brew myself some coffee so that's what I did but I put like mostly milk a little bit of coffee and then some whipped cream to kind of sweeten it up just a little bit because like actual putting sugar in my coffee makes me sick um so I figured I'd do that but it's just I don't know I just need to figure out ways to like have energy where I don't feel like I need a cup of coffee like I just need to like sit down and just like research that out and just have an idea of like what I can drink or eat like that will actually give me energy throughout the day like I'm taking my vitamins I'm eating lots of vegetables and lots of fruits and drinking a lot of water but I'm just so tired every day and tomorrow I have class no I have work at 6 a.m. so I know I'm gonna be hella exhausted and then like I still have class tomorrow and then I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow which I'm excited but also nervous about I'm just going to my regular OB appointment she's gonna you know listen to the heartbeat like weigh me things like that um, but I'm always so nervous before my appointments only because um, I'm just always fearful that something may be wrong even though I know so far this pregnancy has been extremely healthy so I'm just looking forward to that because my next following appointment is for my the second part of my sequential screening um, and then in March we get our ultrasound and we find out the gender, which I'm so excited for. So hopefully tomorrow I will remember to record some of my appointment or me, you know, going to my appointment. And, uh, hopefully today I will do a proper pregnancy update, like a car pregnancy update, which I tend to do a lot because I'm so busy. Like I have works in the, I have work in the morning and then I have class throughout the day. Then I gotta get the girls from school. Then I have to cook dinner and um, you know, make sure the girls are bathed and do like story time, walk the dog, you know, so many things to do. And my fiance helps out a ton, but this is also his senior year. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So we're both like running rampant, but we work really well as a team and we are really good with like being patient with one another and just making sure that things are completed and done and prepared for the morning. So we're not super stressful, but yeah, so car chats have been my go-to lately and hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. But I got to run to class and then um, in between the break of one of my classes, I'll come back and do my Friday's Day update. And so then I'm gonna listen to the Let's Make Out podcast with Gabe and Babe, which I love. I love, love, love it. I love them as a couple. I love their, um, I love their YouTube channel. I just feel like they're so genuine and so sweet and they're, little ones like little CJ and the newest little baby Reagan are super super cute so I love listening to their podcast I recently have been doing that so I got my headphones ready I'm not going to forget my coffee getting out the car this time and I'm going to literally power walk to class so to finish up the update um I will be 16 weeks on Monday and I just have a few um doctor's appointments that I need to go to um within the next um, two weeks which is like my sequential screening my second part of my se sequential and just like a regular OB appointment um, for symptoms I have been craving lots of vegetables like um, Brussels sprouts I've been craving kale like last night um, my fiance made me like a huge like pot of like sauteed kale um, and I literally <laughs> ate the entire thing um, besides that I've been craving a lot of um, I want to say creamy things if that makes any sense like more like sauces like alfredo sauce so I've been eating a lot of like bread with alfredo this sounds terrible this sounds like <laughs> this is going to lead down a terrible road of like swollen legs and feet and like full-blown heart attack like eating habits um, versus like eating healthy um, so yeah that's what I've been craving those are the only two cravings I've had this week I still have not felt little one move yet which is a little disheartening because I'm so impatient about it like I can't wait to feel a little guy or a little girl and just feel their little kicks and just their little movements because that is like you know 
assuring me that everything's okay and you know I know that the baby's getting stronger and growing bigger but I know the baby's doing that regardless but it's like once you feel them kicking and moving you legit feel pregnant like with this pregnancy I have had very like mild symptoms in comparison to my daughters so for me it's like having these symptoms are like reassuring me like girl you are pregnant like clearly I know I'm pregnant but it's just like whoa like I'm really like real life pregnant I think I'm actually going to incorporate um my doctor's appointment into this vlog so my makeup my hair and everything is gonna probably be different in this next clip so and you slow her down so I can um I do the second one I believe on the 19th or something weeks, so a couple days yeah ultrasound you had early ultrasounds um somewhere around i'll put a note here around 20 weeks we get a level two ultrasound mm -hmm. so we'll have to set you up yeah. so finally home get the baby girls are playing dinner's in the oven and my my fiance is downstairs the appointment went well um everything's measuring correctly heartbeat is healthy and strong i wanted to tell you guys thanks for watching and yeah thanks for watching see you guys next video say bye puppy say bye bye say bye bye